This is the Arms Reach Co Sleeper. Today I'll be doing a review on this. This is in the chocolate brown and fern green color pattern, as you can see. It is a bassinet and a co sleeper in one. Right now it is in the bassinet position. As you can see, the side right here is up. That means that I have transformed it into a bassinet. So I'll give you an overview of what it looks like. It has these handles or bars right here which act as handles so you can move it easily. It has four caster wheels with separate um, individual locking mechanisms so that you can lock them individually. It has a huge basket underneath. The basket is nine inches tall. The width of this whole entire um, bassinet co sleeper is 34 inches wide. The top part is from this bar to the end right here is 13 inches tall. And in order to remove this and make it into a co sleeper, you would just unsnap by the Velcro tabs right here and in the inside and as well as over here and out here. Over here on the right side of it, you have this little notch to lock and unlock. And so you just push it and then it releases it. And then over here, it will pop out. So you can see right there it goes. In order to put it back, that's you just put it over here and push that mechanism in and line it up with the notch and it goes right in. So then now I have it in the co-sleeper position. So I will just velcro these back on. This velcro's over there, just like that. Now it is in the co-sleeper position. This does come with an included safety belt. So you would put this on the mattress. So this piece goes on the opposite side of the bed and then the straps go underneath the mattress and attach to the co-sleeper. I do not have it attached right now and that is because I don't really need it. I have a rug in my room so the co-sleeper does not move and even if it did I could always lock the wheels but I like to move the co-sleeper away from my bed in order to get out of my bed so that makes it, it does make it very difficult to get out of your bed if you have it attached to the bed because I have a nightstand right here so I don't attach it but it is for safety reasons so if you feel like you have to use it, you should. Um, right here is another mesh panel, so it's very breathable. There's The whole entire thing is made out of mesh paneling on the sides, all around. You have two big, deep pockets, one on each side of it, so one here. So you have plenty of room, depending on which way you put this on your side of the bed. I sleep on the left side of the bed, so this is on the left side. So this part of the co-sleeper is next to my nightstand, which I can't really access so easily. And then on this side on the right, I use this pocket for um, wipes, diapers, cream at night when I want to change my daughter's diaper. And it's very, very deep, as you can see. I barely use the basket. I feel like it's inaccessible when it's next to the bed. But you can access it, you know, like if you want to store extra diapers or, you know, whatever it is. It comes with this mattress, bassinet mattress pad. It is, looks like this. It's sort of like a memory foam material, so it's somewhat squishy. It is one inch thick, so a lot of people have said that it's pretty thin, which I th feel like it's not that bad when she sleeps on it. I mean, you can't feel like the bottom of the co-sleeper. It's not that thin where you could feel like the board or anything. So I feel like it's okay. Um, it does include this like mat mattress um, sheet. And what I like about it is that it has Velcro on the back. So as you can see right here, it has Velcro. And there's Velcro tabs under here so that the mattress pad doesn't shift or move. So I really like that feature. I thought that that was a really good feature. The only problem is that this only comes with one mattress pad cover. And in order to replace it, it is $29.99, which is really expensive. So I just have this one. And 
Um, since it's a rectangular shape, it's really hard to find a replacement, obviously, because most of them are oval shaped. So, yeah, pretty much if you can get it cheaper, get it cheaper. And if you know where to get it cheaper, let me know. Very, very sturdy. It's quite large, as you can see. So it's almost like a little porta crib in a way, but that comes close to your bed. Um, it does have adjustable feet. So right down here, you would unvelcro this. And right here you can see that there is um, like a, a thing here. And you would adjust it by pushing this piece in and making it, um, this would make the co-sleeper taller. I actually have it on the lowest setting. So there is four settings and this makes the co-sleeper on the lowest and it's still too high for my bed, but my bed is unusually, like the, the height is unusual. So it might fit yours, but right now it's about 33 inches tall and it's still too tall with this bar right here. So it's not level with my mattress on my bed, but it's still where I can get the baby in and out, you know, quite easily. I do have to lift her up, obviously. Um, but she can see me in the bed and it makes her feel better. And she's almost two months old, so it kind of works out. But I was just bummed that I can't make the co-sleeper, like, any shorter. But it can be made quite taller because it has... We can go all the way up here. So if you do have a tall bed, it will probably fit your bed. And, the, and then you just cover that and... As you can see, the casters have a locking mechanism right here. Um, this is the length view underneath. The one thing that I really, really hate about this co-sleeper um, is, keep this in mind, which I did not know, um, you cannot fold this co-sleeper. You can't fold it. You can't fold it for storage. So if you need to store this in the future, you have to store it like this or take it completely apart. So would I recommend this? No, I would recommend a folding one. So um, if you're thinking about get, getting this one, I would suggest looking into possibly getting one that folds if, you, if storage is going to be an issue for you. Uh, for me, it is an issue. And when I, you know, I'm going to pass this along to somebody else that needs it so I won't have to store it. But, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. You cannot fold it. I tried. I looked it up, and you cannot. So I hope that this review was helpful. Um, also, before I go, I just want to note, note that what's great about this bar right here, the handle type of thing, is that you can attach things like the sleep sheep. I have the sleep sheep attached to it so that she can listen to the sleep sheep at night. So I really like that. So if you have any questions for me, let me know. Bye.